Okay, we're going to have a look at an app today called iTouch Elementary School Math, Language Arts and Science Worksheets for 3rd, 4th and 5th graders. Now this app is free to download and you get the first two parts of each one, each of the uh, lessons for you to try for free. So uh, don't hesitate to download it because you're going to fall in love with it when you do. Um, 18,000 exercises within this app, which is absolutely stunning, all based on the US National Common Core standards. Um, what we've got here is we're looking at the library. So, oops, go back in there. We're looking at the library. You can see my library, I have four titles. Now, if there's a shopping cart, it means I haven't purchased the entire um, uh, lesson. So I haven't purchased health grade five, age 10 to 11. But what I have done at the top is I've purchased language arts grade three, age eight to nine. And you can download any of these. And like I said, participate in the first two questions for each one of the topics at any time for free. So let's go ahead and um, uh, open one of the lessons uh, and see what it's all about. So when we click play, you get to the progress chart of how well you're doing within the language arts grade three, which is what I'm on. On the top left hand side, you see what level I'm on, level 14, and I've got 1442 points. And that kind of all takes care of itself as you go through, uh, through the app. So before we go into this, let's press the plus sign. Oops. Let's go back out, let's press the cog sign, and you can grade the uh, the tests that you're going to take within this based on numbers out of you know 10 or 20, or based on the ABC, you know, A plus, B plus, so on and stuff like that. You can reset the app at any time. And let's go back in and I'll show you how that works. So um, let's go ahead and open one of these, and we'll open one we've already done, which is the introducing a topic in writing and composition. And you can see that I got an A plus for this, which is what the star stands for. If you look at the others, I got a green, which is a B plus, an orange, which is a B minus, a red, which was a D, and so on. And you can go back at any time and uh, retake those tests within the app to improve your scores. Um, if you click on the circles within the category, so reading, for example, it'll tell you what they're about, comprehension, uh, describing characters in a story, word meaning, signal words, text structure, uh, chronological point of view, uh, summarization, and so on. I mean, this app is, it, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, and like I said, it, it does cover the U.S. Uh, National Common Core uh, curriculum for the entire year um, that you're going to be uh, learning. And this is just one of the uh, parts of the app. So, like I said, let's go ahead and open one of them up. We have got an A plus on this, but we're going to show you how it works. Now, you've got a couple of things to look at on the screen. Uh, this little guy down the bottom here is going to uh, take you to the lessons. Now, the lesson is what you want to do before you take a test. So if you click on him, he'll take you to uh, a, a, what you're going to learn about. So basically, all of this page at the beach, the hint, the lesson, is what you're going to want to read in order to understand and take the test. And this changes every time uh, you go on to a new category. So let me show you what I mean. You've got two modes, practice mode and test mode. Practice mode lets you participate without being graded. And it kind of tells you on the right hand side if you're doing well or you're not doing so well by going up and down in green or up in green or down in red. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this question. So based on the author's description of the beach, we can see that the author won't return to the beach. The author had a great time at the beach. The beach was too hot. Well, let's just say the author had a great time. Okay, and you can see we've got one green dot. We're above the line, so we're doing okay. Um, where do I introduce the topic? Uh, let's try this one. Two green dots and so on. And you continue to practice uh, until you're ready, you feel you're ready to take the test. Now, this little pencil down here um, comes in handy when you're looking at other subjects like math and science and you want to, uh, you know, write something down for you to understand uh, a little easier. So I just want to show you that. You can change the width of the pencil, uh, you can change the color, and so on, and you can erase certain parts like this. You can go back a step through it if you make a mistake. You can actually share it, or you can just delete the whole screen. So that comes in very handy. At times, also a calculator will pop up on the bottom if it's a, if it's a question that may require some help on a calculator. So let's go ahead and take the test and let's see how we do. So what you get on a test is you get six questions, and, which is nice because it's five or 10 minutes of a, of a day for a child to take this lesson and do the test. 
So click on the iTouch to review. So to review the lesson, you can click back on him if you need help. Um, what are some of the supporting details in the story? Um, let's see. Let's go with that one. So we got one right. Okay. What is the topic of the test? I'm glad to be riding my bike again. I'm I'm a great rider. Okay. Let's see. It's B. And you continue to go through this, and you'll see at the top here we're on question three. And I'm just getting, going to guess now so I can see if I get some wrong. And you'll see the wrong answer and the right answer, question three. And we're on question four. Uh, okay. Now again, we'll guess. Lucky guess there. One more. We got it wrong. Okay, so now you get your test results. Four correct, which is a B plus out of six. 40 points. Time bonus, 24 points. So you get a bunch of fun stuff on there too. So now if you had that in the um, out of 20 range, you know, or 10 range, you would get graded on that scale rather than a B plus. So when you go back, you'll see that now my uh, writing and comprehension, the first lesson is now at a B plus because I went from getting everything right to only getting four right. And you continue through those lessons um, and you go through each one of these. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, there's so much to do here uh, that it really just is a great app. Let's have a look very quickly um, at one of the other ones here. So let's go on math. Now you can see that only two of these are going to show up because I haven't purchased the whole app. But if we pick on something like um, measurement and data, we've got review of time, elapsed time, problem solving one, using a ruler. I mean, just download this app, which is free, and have a look at all of the amazing stuff that's in it. Uh, but let's pick one and we'll show you how it works on here. It's the same concept. Um, let's go straight ahead and open him up. So we've got the lesson and here's the lesson. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to learn. Sit down and have a chat with your children or the class. Um, and then you come in and practice or you go straight into the test. And we'll go in the test and see how we do. This clock shows the time. So now you see you've got a calculator down here that if you need help understanding adding a subtraction you can you can use that to do so. Um, and then you just go from here. And you answer the questions and you go through and you get your test results. Now if we click the home button we'll go back to the, the progress chart on where we were and if you click the plus, you go back to your library. So have a look. I mean, it's free to download. It covers language arts, math, science, and um, it's just a wealth of information. Uh, and, and it really is great. Um, it really is a great app. So um, check it out. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I touch. Uh, elementary school math language arts and science worksheets for third fourth and fifth graders it's really good have a look